Good evening and welcome back to the pastor's porch. As you can tell by the word I just used, the evening, as well as the darkening sky behind me and the lights that you can see that are hung about my porch that I'm recording this uh, in the evening. It's Wednesday evening. Um, and I'm not doing it simply because the temperatures are cooler, uh, nor am I doing it for the ambiance of having the lights and the, and the dark sky behind me. Uh, but I'm doing it because I wanted to be able to share something with you uh, with some of the news that I just received and to invite you to join me in prayers again, just as I did a couple of weeks ago in my video. Um, I will offer up some passages of scripture as well as a prayer uh, for our brother Jerry. As you know, I announced on Sunday uh, it was his 89th birthday, and Jerry has been um, fighting sickness. Um, we believe it to be COVID. Uh, he eventually did test positive for that, but he's been fighting it for the last uh, two weeks or so, and he's been in the hospital for the last week and a half about. And I talked to his daughter this evening, and she let me know that he will be coming home from the hospital tomorrow. Um, hospice will be bringing him home. And so he has not had much recovery in terms of his oxygen levels and, and other things. And so hospice will be bringing him home tomorrow. Uh, the family has asked that I come by um, as soon as they're, uh, they're able to bring him home and that I would administer last rites uh, to Jerry and then they'll remove him from any breathing treatment that he has uh, and the hospital and hospice have uh, or do expect that uh, shortly thereafter Jerry will pass and go on to be with the Lord and so I wanted to take this opportunity um, it's not a joyful pastor's porch by any means. It's not a joyful situation, but uh, we do want to be able to lift up our brother in prayer uh, as he prepares uh, for what seems to be um, his death. And so uh, we would ask, or I would ask, that you join your hearts with me as I read a couple of these passages and as I offer up uh, a prayer for one who is about to depart. And then tomorrow uh, after I go and I pray with him and administer last rites to him and be with the family, then I'll be sure to update everyone with what I learn. Um, I mean, we hope the Lord, obviously we know, can work miracles. And so it's even in this prayer that we pray that the Lord might raise him up. Um, uh, in, in his earthly body once again so that he might spend more time with us uh, but if it is that time we pray that he will pass peacefully and uh, be brought into those everlasting arms and so I ask you to join your heart with me both this evening as I do this uh, and then also in your private prayers and then of course tomorrow morning be in prayer for Jerry be in prayer for the family be in prayer for myself as I go and I minister to them or to him and to them and then uh, also even be in prayer for our church family because Jerry is a dearly loved brother in our church and part of our, our family and has been for a number of years. And so uh, please be in prayer for all those. Hear the word of the Lord. He asked life of thee and thou gavest it him, even length of days forever. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine Holy One to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand are pleasures forevermore. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire besides thee. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. This God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, 
For thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Now let us pray, as our Father taught us the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, whose tender mercies are over all thy works, we come to thee in behalf of thy servant Jerry humbly beseeching thee to have mercy upon him in this his time of need. We know, O Lord, that nothing is impossible with thee, and that if thou wilt, thou canst even raise him up and grant him a longer continuation amongst us. But if the time of his dissolution is drawing near, so fit and prepare him, we beseech thee, for the hour of death, that after his departure hence in peace he may be received into thine everlasting kingdom, through infinite riches of grace in Christ Jesus our Lord. O blessed Lord, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, deal graciously, we beseech thee, with thy suffering servant, Jerry. Look upon him with the eyes of mercy. Comfort him with a sense of thy goodness. Preserve him from the temptations of the enemy. Give him patience under his affliction, and save him for thy mercy's sake. O merciful God, who has caused thy holy word to be written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, give unto thy servant, we humbly pray thee, a right understanding of thy precious promises, that he may not cast away his confidence in thee, but in all things cheerfully submit to thy blessed will. Reveal thy Son, Jesus Christ, in his heart as the risen one who has conquered death, not for himself alone, but for all the children of men. Take away from him, we beseech thee, O Lord, every fear of evil. Grant him victory over every besetting doubt, and lift up the light of thy countenance upon him, and give him peace in Christ Jesus our Lord. O God, with whom do live the spirits of just men made perfect, we humbly commend thy servant Jerry, our departing brother, into thy hands, as into the hands of a faithful creator and most merciful Savior beseeching thee that his soul may be precious, precious in thy sight. Wash him, we pray thee, in the blood of that immaculate lamb that was slain to take away the sins of the world, that whatsoever defilements he may have contracted in this mortal life, being purged and done away, he may be presented pure and without spot before thee. Vouchsafe to him a quiet passage. Guide him through the valley of the shadow of death and receive him into the arms of thy mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company, company of thy chosen saints in heaven. For the sake of him who died to save us from eternal death, thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, I would ask that you lift up Jerry, lift up his family, especially both this evening and tomorrow morning. And as I learn more, I will share it with you. God bless.